Just a couple quick comments. Um, obviously, to say I'm very excited about Saturday, it'd be a very uh, shallow statement because I think everybody knows that. But I'm honored to be here, honored to be the coach of the Ohio State University football team and, and to come back home and coach in the great state of Ohio. Um, Miami, Ohio, uh, I know Miami very well. I coached in the MAC Conference for two years. I have a great deal of respect for uh, them as a university. Like I said, I know them very well. I know the history, tradition, and I also know uh, their coach and I know uh, their quarterback after watching them play and the receiver. So it, it's going to be a good challenge for us. Um, on behalf of our players, though, I can tell you this, our guys are ready to go play and, and ready to go play on Saturday. Overall, I think we're, we have potential to be a good team, talent-wise. Now, there's some areas that really have to step up that are uh, not battle-tested. You know, there are others that are very battle-tested, but our linebacker position group is one that, uh, you know, there there's some guys that really have to make improvements from a year ago, but they were young. The offensive skill has been well documented that uh, that has to, obviously, from just statistical analysis would tell you it was very poor, uh, but I think those kids have really made a, a strong, a strong development, have really been... Uh, Zach Smith and those guys done a pretty good job. We have to get a lot better, but they're getting they are getting better. You know, our our team is going to be focused on point A to point B as fast as you can go in four to six seconds of relentless effort. Any other messages that are not coming from here, and our coaching staff is aligned with that. I mean, there was, there is no conversation about week thirteen, week fourteen, week fifteen, and Christmas break. Do we you know what do we do? We're, we're it's full metal jacket just to get to Saturday. And, I would have to say Corey Lindsley would be on offense, the guy that's made the biggest jump. He's gone from a nobody to the apex of our offense, and that's the center, which in any offense, but particularly this one, the way we do things, that center's got to be a grown man, and I, I love Corey. I love who he is. I love the seriousness. I love the fact that he was honest about his, uh, you know, it wasn't a blame game. He didn't come in all of a sudden blame the previous coaching staff. He blamed himself for his lack of production over the years. So he is without question, in my mind, uh, the number one most improved guy. Carlos High would be probably running a close second. And then Philly Brown is a guy that's really come on. So those are guys that uh, on offense, on defense, uh, just from what I expected, Garrett Goble, I didn't have any idea who he was. And he's a captain and really, really playing very, very good football for us. Uh, Travis Howard is a much better player than he was. Um, those are the two on defense that really stand out to me that have uh, – Made, uh, made monumental, uh, from my impressions of them then to now, those are the guys that really stick out.